All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this blog. Here to continue with more scout reports headed towards the 2016 NFL Draft. Working further with the quarterbacks, I'm here to talk about Christian Hackenberg out of Penn State. Now, he had a decent career as a Nittany Lion. Let's talk a little bit about him. Hailing from Palm Grove, Virginia, and he was definitely a, one of the most celebrated recruits coming out of high school in Penn State history. One of the most celebrated recruits. Definitely was the top quarterback coming out of high school, according to ESPN, a couple of years ago before um, entering his true freshman season, in which he had a great year. We had 2,900. 55 yards passing, 20 touchdowns, and just 10 interceptions as a true freshman. Under head coach Bill um, O'Brien. In the sophomore season, he definitely took a step backwards in his passing attack. He had 2,977 yards passing, 12 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. The numbers did improve this season with 2,525 yards passing, 16 touchdowns, and just 6 interceptions. Definitely did a better job in touchdown interception ratio in his junior season. Now, he decided to come come out on this year instead of um, staying for one more season decide to forego his senior year and it's time for me to talk about the strengths and weaknesses for Hackenberg now first and foremost he definitely has a great size at six foot four 236 pounds you're gonna hear this a lot from me um for most of the top quarterbacks entering this year's draft definitely have great size and he does have um he showed displayed a lot of heart, um, for, especially the past two seasons as their quarterback. He was back-to-back -back team captain. Definitely has the leadership and the poise, and he definitely has his teams, his teammates believe in him and backing him up. Now he definitely showed a lot of heart, particularly in this season. In that first game against Temple, where he had to deal with a hostile environment in in uh, Temple's home field in Philadelphia, this was a big um 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 game for him in the first game of the season against a tough Temple defense in which he didn't play too well, but he did show a lot of heart. He never called it quits. He definitely tried, even though the offensive line was struggling against that defense for Temple. I think they have like 12 sacks in that matchup. A terrible play in the offensive line, but um, Hackenberg definitely still tried to play hard and get his team to still believe. The game was close for actually um, most of the time until the thing started falling apart um, going towards the end of the game. But I do like the heart of Christian Hackenberg I do like that a lot. Now, other things that I do like about him is that he does have a quick feet, decent footwork inside the pocket, and he does play under the pro style offense. And under coach of Bill Burrow O'Brien in that freshman season, he um definitely displayed that well. And I think with under a good co head coach and a, a, think a good head coach and good offensive coordinator, he could definitely work well in the offense and try to develop to become a good NFL starter at the next level. Now, he does have a couple of weaknesses though. Now, against tougher defense. Defenses and hostile environments, a lot of noise and a lot of pressure. He doesn't do too well with his feet and his pocket presence. He definitely struggles a lot when he has to deal with tougher defenses and when he's facing under pressure. So definitely, he kind of shows a little bit. Um, he did show a little bit a lack of um believing in his offensive line, but at the same time, he did um um understand his offensive line was struggling. He did not lose complete faith in his offensive line, but there were situations where he was shown that he couldn't make plays on his own. He definitely could use a lot of help. Now, going back to that freshman season, he was under coach Bill O'Brien, but O'Brien left his following year as a sophomore. He's now the head coach of the uh, Houston, to become the head coach of the Houston Texans. Also, Allen Robinson was a big loss as well. Allen Robinson was the leading receiver in um, Hackenberg's freshman season, and he didn't really have that much talent around him. So that kind of shows that he needs support in cast in order for him to become a good quarterback. He's not a quarterback who could use just about anybody like Tom Brady and develop to become a good quarterback. He is a quarterback who can use good players. You, if I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's not like Tom Brady who can pretty much use whoever he can, build up chemistry with his fellow receivers, and then still pull impressive numbers. Hackenberg has not shown that maturity yet, and he still needs to work on that. But he does have the experience to play at the the next level now overall for my projection i actually have him going in the third round of this year's draft he does have the skills the skill set he can make a, a, a good, decent throws but he needs to a good supporting cast and he hasn't really shown too much heart as not, not 
the heart of being um the, the mature not the heart but the maturity of developing more better chemistry with the receivers and becoming a quarterback who could do just about anything from what he has he did the best he could at Penn State and I understand why he decided to not stay for another season because possibly most likely he was going to struggle for another year so he was definitely decided to come out I'm not hating him on that he does have the experience but if he has a good offensive coordinator and decent players good offensive weapons around him he could be a very dangerous quarterback at the next level, he still has the potential. Now, the next time I'm going to catch you guys will be in a couple of minutes. I have more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.